Hi, my name is Ollie Wedgwood, and today we're going to learn how to play the chords and the structure of the 12 bar blues on the piano. There are four videos in this short series, and we're going to be covering how to play seventh chords, how to use inversions to streamline your chords, make it uh, sound better. In the third video, we're going to take a look at rhythm and how we can make things more interesting using rhythm. And in the fourth video, we'll put all of those three things together and play a piece called Jailbird Blues uh, with a backing track and music. Each video comes with a downloadable PDF so you can actually see the notes in front of you on the piano. And uh, we'll also have a bit of fun in each video by playing with a play along backing track. So some bass and drums just to get into the groove and have a bit of fun. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the series. It'll be great to hear your feedback. Um, and if you're a teacher, I hope you find the tools and the techniques that we, we go through useful in your teaching to help your students. Okay, let's get started with the 12 bar blues. To play the blues, we need to be able to play seventh chords. Now, seventh chords are made up of the first note of a scale, the third note of the scale, fifth note of the scale, and the flattened seventh of the scale. So that's C7. That's the C7 chord. And we can find the seventh chord in any other uh, scale. So let's say we start on F now. See if you can have a go. Might want to pause the video and have a go. Let's try it. So we're going to do the first note, the third note, fifth note and not the seventh but the flattened seventh so that is F7 okay have another go try it on G now see if you can figure out what the G7 chord is so here we go the third note of the scale the fifth note of the scale and not the seventh note of the scale but the flattened seventh and that is G7 G7 Cool, so we've just done the three chords of the blues, of the blues in C. Because the blues in C uses three chords. The first chord in the scale, the fourth chord in the scale, the fifth chord in the scale. And those are, that's it. Okay, so uh, let's uh, take a look at those. We've got the C7, the F7, and the G7. Great, so all we need now is to work out in which order do we play them. So, here we go. So from this, let's, have, let's, let's go through this, I'll count us in and you can see how it works. So one, two, three, four. Uh, one bar of C, one bar of F7, two bars of C7, one, two, three, four. Two bars of F7, one, two, three, four. One, two bars of C7, two, three, four. One bar of G7, one bar of F7, and one bar of C7. And then to finish with, the last bar is the G7, which leads us back to the beginning. Okay. So we're gonna do a practice play along now. So you can practice in the, in the key of C, the blues in C. Okay, the first time through, just use your left hand. See if you can move between the chords and follow the music which will be scrolling as we go. The second time we do it, change hands. Now use your right hand, you might want to go an octave higher. And in your left hand, just play the tonic of each chord, the, the first note of the scale of each chord. So the bass note, if you like. So we would go C7, F7, C7, and then G7, F7, C7. I, had, I didn't do the, the right structure there, but okay, let's, let's have a go now. And uh, the music will be scrolling, so you'll be able to follow it as we go.
So I hope you had a load of fun in that first session and that you feel confident with seventh chords and how to find them. Okay, in the next video, we're going to take it one step further and we're going to be looking at inversions to see how we can streamline those chords, make them sound even better. Okay, I look forward to your feedback and your comments. Please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.